Steph, good morning. Thank you for that. Our top story this morning, generations lost. Hundreds of unmarked graves have been found at a former residential school in Saskatchewan. We want to warn you, some of the details that you're going to hear in this story are disturbing. We have hit 751 unmarked graves. We are going to be putting names to these unmarked graves. We want to honor our loved ones that lay there today. The 751 graves found at the Maryville Indian Residential School, the largest discovery at a residential school to date. The bodies belong to both children and adults. Officials say Catholic Church representatives removed the headstones and are therefore treating the discovery as a crime, as a crime since removing headstones illegal. A former student of the residential school spoke about some of the horrific crimes that he witnessed. I was there, I, I witnessed a, 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 a body being put in the ground. It, was, it wasn't in a coffin, it was just, in a, just wrapped in cloth. Ottawa says it will substantially boost federal funding to allow Indigenous communities to uncover more burial sites at former schools. Prime Minister Trudeau tweeting the federal government will support the Cowessus First Nation and is committed to working with the Indigenous community to advance reconciliation in meaningful and lasting ways. All right, a live look right now at the CN Tower, which will be lit orange on Canada Day in solidarity and support of Indigenous communities in our country. The city will also lower flags to half-mast and the Toronto sign dimmed on July the 1st. This news indeed distressing to many people, so I want to remind you here, if you need the support or assistance, please do look to this number, a toll-free number with the Indian Residential School Survivor Society, as well, a 24-hour crisis hotline, which you'll see the numbers here. They are also on our website. Well, a Mississauga pastor is under fire over comments about residential schools and what survivors experienced. Many people had very positive experiences of residential schools. Many people received health care and educations and joyful experiences. They weren't universally uh, awful. Monsignor Owen Keenan made the comments during a sermon last weekend at the Merciful Redeemer Parish. He also went on to say he expects many would thank the church for the good that was done in the schools. The Catholic Church and the Canadian government both playing a major role in the residential school system. Experts say statements like these ignore a large part of Canadian history. There is a need for us to hold churches responsible for what they played a part in. Why not commit to education before speaking, really? I'm wondering what's going on within the church that, it, that in this present moment, even after the TRC report came out, that there isn't more work being undertaken within the church to educate from within. In the same sermon, the pastor also criticizing a Catholic schools for raising the pride flag. Many have expressed outrage on social media. The church also vandalized with graffiti. Peel police say they are investigating it as a hate-motivated incident. Crown Indigenous Relations Minister Carolyn Bennett apologizing after former Liberal Justice Minister Jody Wilson-Raybould received what she says was a sexist and misogynistic text. It started when Raybould tweeted about the unmarked graves discovery at the Saskatchewan Residential School and called on the Prime Minister not to trigger an election. Bennett texted Raybould implying she was concerned about a House of Commons pension which she would only qualify for if she remains in office past this October. Bennett later admitted the text insensitive and inappropriate. Well, so many issues surrounding this tragic discovery in Saskatchewan, and we have a number of guests who will be joining us this morning, including Ontario MPP Sol Mamakwa at 7 o'clock. So please do stay tuned for that. Let's get to our COVID-19 coverage now. It is official. Ontario will enter step two of the province's reopening plan on Wednesday. I'm not going to stop working until we get everyone vaccinated. We've got to get every single uh, business open and the economy booming again. Under step two, nail and hair salons can reopen the first time in seven months. Up to five people can gather inside, 25 outside. Overnight camps can begin as well as outdoor fitness classes, non-contact sports. And although the province is already within that step three framework when it comes to vaccinations, Dr. Kieran Moore, who is taking over for Dr. David Williams, 
hinting that may not come sooner than expected. I do believe a slow and cautious approach is warranted uh, with Delta becoming a, a major um, a strain in Ontario and any returning traveller could bring the virus back into Canada at any given time. So we need a very robust federal testing strategy, isolation and quarantine strategy and we're very much looking forward to working with our federal government to strengthen that. The public health leaders also asked if fully vaccinated people still need to wear masks. They said the province is working on guidelines now. Those recommendations are expected soon. Later this morning, Prime Minister Trudeau will be providing a COVID-19 update for the nation, and that is happening at 11.15. We will stream that, as always, on our website, citynews.ca. All right, a big night for the Habs. They're off to the Stanley Cup finals, but riots last night after the game casting a shadow over the victory. Look at this, a flipped over police car clashes with officers and tear gas was actually used to disperse crowds. This is uh, the look at downtown Montreal last night. Fans in the stadium had to stay inside for safety concerns following the win. Montreal, spoiler alert, beating Vegas 3-2 in OT, advancing to the Stanley Cup for the first time since 1993. All right, 611 is your time right now. Coming up next, sales for Nike hitting new highs. What's causing the sportswear brand to score big time? Mike Apple. He'll explain coming up next.